Hi guys, today I will talk to you about a wash off mask that I've been using. I usually prefer wash off masks over mask sheets because they produce less trash in total. And wash off masks tend to clear up the skin, the pores, etc. And mask sheets you tend to focus on hydration. So they are very different and for my skin type personally I prefer using a wash off mask that will help me clear all of these dirty little things and then I can just do the hydration and other treatments with the rest of the skincare. So this wash off mask that I have been using is Dr. Suracle Kangha Rice Granule Pack. It is brightening, exfoliating and moisturizing. It has 115 grams in one package. I have received this mask from the brand as part of their supporters program and I do not have to put any review on YouTube, but I thought I have been enjoying it and Dr. Suracle is not a brand that many people are aware of right now. They used to be known as Ijiham, Lee Jiham, and they have reformulated in Korea to be Dr. Suracle. I think Sue is from Cosmeceutical and Rackle from Miracle or something like that. So it's supposed to be a fun play on words. It's worth knowing because personally I have liked their products since they were Ijiham number one because they had Ijiham, then they had Ijiham written in a different way and now they're Dr. Suracle and I have liked them since the beginning. Their basic Product, their base products have not changed, the formulations are ma mainly the same and they are still very good and today I will talk about this mask that I have been enjoying very much. As a wash off mask you apply it after cleansing, I have cleansed, so you apply it after cleansing, you leave it 10 to 15 minutes and then you remove it in a circular motion so that it will help exfoliate the top layer of the skin. I recommend that you do that very gently because you never know how your skin you will react if you do it harshly. If you are doing also chemical peeling or if you're doing other exfoliating masks then I recommend you just soak the skin with water and remove it without exfoliating basically. I usually do physical exfoliation very gently rather than chemical or strong physical exfoliants and my skin is sensitive and I have never had any problem. Why is this mask brightening? It's brightening because of the ingredient, the rice ingredient, it helps clear up the skin. So your skin will not become white, but it will become clear. I have been using other rice products. My skin does seem to like the rice ingredient a lot. It matches really well with hyaluronic acid, which I use almost every day. So the first thing that I really enjoy is that you have this lid. If you put the spatula that comes with it, if you... <laughs> I messed up my floor! Damn, what a waste of product! My, my table! Well, now that I have cleaned most of the mess that I made, gladly this mask does wash off easily, which is a very big plus. Um, I can finally show you what I was trying to say. So you have the lid, and it has this little rim around it. You can keep the spatula there, small click, and then the spatula does not fall off. <gasps> so it is actually very comfortable for once to keep the spatula. Um, lots of brands have been starting to pay attention to this type of details. I mean, if the spatula just comes separately on the product, I will leave it on the counter or somewhere and it will get dirty and it's then a pain to use. So I appreciate this type of details very much. Now. I want to show you the actual texture of the product that you already saw because I spilled it all over. This mask doesn't need to be applied thickly to work well, so it depends on your skin. I, I use it mainly for moisture and brightening, so I do like to apply it a little bit thicker. But if you do it for the exfoliation, then a little bit will be more than enough. Ow, ow. It smells like, um, sort of like a shike, which is a Korean rice drink. It smells a little bit sweet, but comforting, like really like shikhe. But like rice, a little bit sweet, it's comforting and it kind of feels like you're going to have a very nice sweet po rice porridge. It's very creamy and it's very grainy, but you do not feel the grains on the skin. It's more something that you see than that something that you feel. 
it spreads easily both with your hands and with tools, be it the spatula, uh, brush, anything, it, sp it spreads very easily and it washes off very easily. So even if you have a brush that has hairs rather than a silicone brush, it will wash off very easily from there too. I will now show you the before and after. I will apply it on camera and you will judge for yourselves. I really like it, so not, not to influence your opinion, but I really like this mask. As you apply it, you do feel some tiny textures. It's not the rice granules it's themselves, it's... I don't know if it, you can see it. There's these brown and beige things in the mask. Regardless, you can feel it, but it doesn't scratch, at least not the way I'm applying it. I tend to apply my mask relatively gently because of my sensitive skin. Um, this mask applies easily, lightly. You feel it moisturizing your skin right away. So if you if you do masks just to help the moisture of your skin, for no other reason, this mask is one of those good ones. You feel it moisturized right away. And because of the moisture effect, it also soothes irritated and dehydrated skin a little bit, which is very nice. Often, when I do wash off masks, I kind of feel like, oh, please let it end so that I can put my toner. And in this case, because it is a moisture mask, it does not do that. It is very comfortable. There's very few wash off masks that I actually recommend to everyone. Well, I like this one. And now we have to wait 10 to 15 minutes, basically. After the time is done, you will see that it doesn't crack like a, a clay mask, for example. See? No cracking. Um, it does feel a little bit drier, but it still feels basically very sticky and like just feels denser or something. Um, so I'm going to wash it off and come back with a hopefully clear face. So after removing the mask, uh, my skin doesn't feel dry at all, even though I just basically scrubbed it with water. Usually that really hurts my dehydrated skin. My pores are less like characters and more like skin. And that's because of the moisture. Overall, my skin is indeed clearer, I would say. Like it helps remove impurities or something. I am not sure what this effect is, but it does have a nice feel to it. My skin does feel very much clearer, especially in this area where I usually have impurities and like pimples and then also black pores and anything bad will show here. And especially around here, my skin feels very soft, very plump. And it just feels clearer and I hope it shows. I really like this mask and I recommend it thoroughly. Overall, it's a good wash off mask. In my opinion, this wash off mask is a solid 4 out of 5. And it smells really nice. Thank you for watching. I hope that I can keep bringing you some content. And I know I don't have many subscribers. So please, if you're watching this, like and subscribe. I promise to keep bringing some skincare and makeup reviews of products that are very popular here in South Korea.